as a red dip and blood buffer. I swear we are on the corner. I swear we are right at the corner. And the microphone is chipping our end. Let's see. So here's the thing. It's 7 to 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. hosted by a brother Sankova here with the MIC. And we also have Professor West somewhere out west. Uh, DJ Christian on her own time frame. She she follow the sun time. She don't follow regular time. She don't follow no clock time. She don't follow no watch time. She don't even watch time. She against time. Time waits for no one. So this is a timeless interview tonight. We're right here. Uh, Kevin Shadow getting his music ready. The other virgin earlier on was here. They didn't call him Vibes, but the my junior. So they call him Junior Vibes. They say we're too old now for the junior. Yes. Uh, Shark Styles. Uh, so before we start the out of you, we have something to say to the people. This is one thing we're going to teach the people of today. If African people, black people, Bro, why are you calling yourself? If you know, know this one thing, you cannot live on earth most naturally. For when we were born, nobody taught us what is white supremacy, racism. And so what I'm saying to the listeners, whether you come from dance hall or dance hall, whether you go to school or you don't go to school, if you don't understand what it is and how it functions, everything you think you know will confuse you. Most of our lives, we fight, we struggle as an African nation. The first nation that built civilization created all things, even the idea and concept of God. And today, we are the people that people have stolen, cheated, and robbed. Today, we're walking around like we don't even know ourselves. Some of us have a supernatural here in about 20 years. Some of us are bleached. Some of us are prayed to other people, God. And so, what do you believe in with tonight's show? You better know what is white supremacy. If you don't know, go to knowledge bookstore and gain some knowledge. That's what we're telling you today. You're listening to the Diana Radio Show, often controversial and too deep for some, and too surface for some. We brought in a young lady all the way from outer space. She traveled to Mars, and she was saying she's of this and not of this planet. She had said to me, she's feeling gigantic. She said she was here before. This is her second coming. You know, people say we reborn, but we birth ourselves into existence. So we're going to not read your biographical sketch. We're going to just let you talk to us. Uh, your name sounds kind of like Leo Leo. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, yeah, who's the microphone on thing? We're going to set up the microphone. Speak again now, then, the microphone. Layla? Layla. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Try to sound cute. Layla. Yeah, yeah. mm. Cute. All right, cute. She cute. So, Layla, yeah, listen to me, man. Oh, you get the name? Because name is important. Yes, you have a talk of love. Um, I got the name from Planky. He could not remember my name. So who named Blanky? We don't know who named Blanky. See our point, but we're like, really, yeah. It's a, he's a Toronto dancehall reggae artist, you know, up and coming. Don't get the name, you know. That name is funny, you know. How come people named Blanky and people named Lily? How do you get the name Blanky? Because now you have to go, go deep. He got his name back home from his friend then, making fun of him. I got my name because he couldn't remember my right name. He kept on calling me something different, so we just settled with the name and do the right. different friend. <laughs> ah. So, Lily. When you came on the earth first, mm -hmm. where were you? I was in Clarendon. Ah. Where was that? So you're dropping at Clarendon. Mm -hmm. And then as the journey progressed, what happened next? When did you come to the Canada spot, the Great White North, they said? <laughs> the north? Uh, as a baby. Ah. So I'm, in, I'm from the north. And uh, uh, where did you live when you traveled here? To Rexdale. Uh, Rexdale, big up yourself, Rexdale. Now, which part of Rexdale, guys? Rexdale, kind of. In Tanridge, big up the Ridge. All right, so yeah. Tanridge, and we know it's a Willow Ridge and a part of this song. Big up the Jamestown people, then, <laughs> the Mount Island people, then. Because when I come to Canada, that's the first place I went, you know. 
One of the first places, Rex did. Oh, yeah. They go to Naki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's still no working in there. So, so Rex deal grew you up. When you decide you wanted to sing music? Well, I've been singing from church. So we had to. Sing. So they bring you to church. Yes, my mother brought us to church. Single mother of five. She brought us to church. We were going to church on Wednesday for Bible study. Friday for choir practice, and twice on Sunday she brought us to church. What do you think she got bring you so much? And what was she trying to do? I'll yes, probably yes, instill yes. some good values as a single mother, you know. Ah, so she thinks that church level period. Yeah. Probably. All right. <laughs> so that's a that's a good thing. I mean, I mean, I prefer people to be in church than in somewhere else. Like you okay. know where I kill them while they're a shoot up girl in a park. I would prefer them to be in church than I should talk a little bit in the park. So church have its place. Right. But sometimes the people are going to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. So you do your quiet thing. Mm -hmm. I am when I turn about 19, 20. Mm -hmm. How is the music in your life? At that time? Yes. Um, I wasn't doing music at that time at all. I was doing other things. Yeah, the life. Yes, I was doing like working and just being bad and doing There's no such thing as being bad. What it is is sometimes some experience prepare you for today. So all experience and, and people judge it as good or bad, but they are coming to your life for the purpose. So you have to have also some experience that's possible you think was negative. Yeah. And it'll prepare you. So when did you then say again I'm gonna take this music seriously? I didn't really start taking it seriously until planting on it. Um, and no. what year was that? That test, you know, because woman know the dates like that anybody. Was in 2015. Exactly. You know the month at the time? Uh, it was in, I believe, October. Okay. I don't remember the time. It was in the evening. I drove, I drove, yeah. Like, seriously? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to the line. I remember. I'm trying to remember for real. Yeah, so, so, we need to know what? The, 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 the ignition is like a catalyst of the, the music. Yeah, it's like a catalyst. It's like a catalyst. It's like It's like a catalyst. 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 Not at all. It was like he was doing his music and he needed somebody to help him with his promotion and just the behind the scenes things. Because he was busy recording, doing videos and stuff. So I kind of started doing the behind the scenes, sending the emails, sending the music, you know, doing all the writing and stuff like that. And then, right, and then, basically, role managing. Um, listen, unless the DJ have a microphone, I don't want to interrupt my <laughs> audio. I'm going to fire it. I'm going to fire the DJ over on the show. But I will. <laughs> I'll take a microphone if you want to interject your little comments, sir. So, this is your journey. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I help both. Right, I'll help So, when, when you decide that you're going to try this, the car, music is a scary thing to Very, it really is. Um, we were just chilling one day and I was singing, and he was like, Oh, you know, my girl, you have to sing other people. I'm like, How? Oh. Not at all. He goes, Yeah, you're going to sing. And I'm like, Oh, my. So fast forward, I had a studio. <laughs> you know, I started recording from then. Just a couple words on his songs, and it led to a chorus, and it led to my own thing, you know. Weird, weird, weird. When you did sing in the choir, what did you do? In the choir? Yeah, what were you doing in the choir? Singing. So when you asked him to sing, what did I like, you know, what did I sing before? I don't know. When, when the, the producer asked me to sing, if I sing, I was like a little. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel confident enough to be like, uh, yeah, I'm a singer, you know? Yeah, it's so like when somebody says I'm shy, you know? Like when yeah. people come to this, they're kind of shy. So here's the thing, do you remember the song you guys sing in the bathroom there? Because you know when you sing in the bathroom strong. So which song were you singing those days when you know? I think I was you? singing Aaliyah, I think. She's one of your yeah. inspiration. Yes. Alright, do you, you remember which song you guys sing in Aaliyah? I think I can. Yeah, because normally Everything you said to me is a rumor, mm -hmm. and this is the time you get on the spot, so you better come prepare in your car. Now you have to sing the look of Aliyah where you're sing, you know, and God rest her in peace wherever she is. Alright, so run the truck, a cappella. Mm. Just like a bird that whistled in the trees, lived in the leaves so happily. You're my tree. And through the storm, you stood strong for me. Get me warm as can be. Like a candy to an apple. Ooh, we go together. You 
don't, you guys want to be able to come in, record, do the same thing that matters to me. I treat it as a business. Yes, equal rights. All right. <laughs> and when you say equal rights, the brother always asking of the field. A Peter touch equal rights right now. Right. Now you look a mad girl. Yeah. Now you look a mad girl at this respect to school. We don't even know her name, but don't call it. So, so yeah, sing the song. Now, this is where we're going to put it on the spot again. We need a middle. Okay. Uh, sometimes you say, why, why you magnify all uh, your musical genres in one? You know, and you make it like two seconds to think about that. Yeah, so basically, see, you see, I remember hearing a dancer. I want a little bit better. You know, one of my mother had music named Marcia Griffiths. The other time in our show, she just stopped and said, all right, I'm going to sing a little bit. And she just started singing some bop. So I want to hear some R&B, mm -hmm. I want to hear some reggae, some dance in 15 seconds. Can you manage it? Because this is tough. I put it on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is the hot seat. This is where you have the nightmares. Nightmares? Cool. So some <laughs> over, put it on the spot. You ready? Acapella, you ready? You're ready, 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 ready. That's all that we want again. All right, okay. you think anything you say is sing okay. on them, a little bit of song. Okay, R&B first, all right? Um, Erica Badu. All right. Now every time I ask you for a little care, you say no, but turn right around and ask me for some ass. Oh, no, well, hold up, listen, partner. Ain't no cheap thrill Cause Miss Layla's always coming for real Do you know the deal? Every time we go somewhere I gotta reach down in my purse To pay your way and your homeboy's way And sometimes your cousin's way They don't never have to pay don't have no cars, hang around in balls, trying to hang around with stars. Like but do, I'ma tell you the truth, show and proof, i get the, I think you better call Tyrone. Call him and tell him, come on, help you get your shit. You need to call Tyrone, call him, but you can't use my phone. R&B. All right, so you want uh, uh, that song? All right, so. I wish you would have treat me like you're black. I would have loved it if you treat me fun. I wish you would have. All right, hold on. I wish you would have treat me like you're black. I would have loved it if you treat me from cock, keep me. I wish you would have treat me like a yacht. Keep me wet while the wheels them my rock. Why you can't stay up on me like a kana? And keep your lips on me like your marijuana. I would have loved it if you treat me like the club. Stay up in on me one night, just a bump and grind and rub. You don't understand what a woman needs from a man. So I end up on the streets all the time. Just bear this in my mind. These streets don't love you like I do. You need to know that. You want to keep your woman loving you. Then you need to show that. The love we have with it takes so much effort to build. You about to blow that. But just like a plate of jersey, you about to get your back. <laughs> so you know I'm never making this thing no more because you, you work too hard. You said men there, you just a sing on the world. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but yeah, so we see the inspiration. You send any music to the DJ? Yeah. What did you send for? You have to be the host now, you have to bring in a tune where you want. Oh, okay. Um, I would like him to bring in, I'm a woman. By me. By who is me? Me, Lele. Yes, <laughs> ladies Lele. and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, put them together and uh, drop the things that smell like queen and royal emphasis. Let's 
I did love her one time, but then she said she was a diva, like, but still love her because she about, she's a strong one. But you, you know, sometimes, I mean, I'm never telling you this, when you become a legend and great artist, please don't be too complicated. <laughs> for you for people for book you? Okay. Yeah, because okay. then even though you're great, some of people are going to stay away, you know? Yeah. So who else? Because I would have given you one artist, now give you two of me, three agent artists, Queen Africa. But we're not going to tell Canada that she's coming. I don't want to try to block her. <laughs> yes, I'm going to make sure come through. Yeah. yeah? And so you are gonna add her to the show because one of the female artists I love deeply. And she down to her. Okay. Yeah, anytime I'm going away, I say, hey, what queen? And she said, oh, nice. stop go for. Say, go oh, she has a good memory. So she's down to her. Give me two more before we Faith close Evans. the show. Faith Evans. Yes. She was on the biggie small type era. Yeah. Already. She has a beautiful voice. And sticking in that genre, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Yeah. She's a queen of yeah. empire music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you have your, your, your thing now. When are you gonna finish your um, your album, your single, your EP? Are you working on anything? I'm working on an EP right now. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of this summer. Um, I have a video for I'm a Woman coming out early next month. And then from there, I just want to do more music. I got to do a lot of groundwork. I'm just coming into it. So I know everybody has a lot of things that they've done in a big track, right? I had a great build my resume, you know? Yeah, and I said to you the other day, right? I said to you, when you go on the stage, and when you step in public, you have to close out the noise. You have to close out the critic. Yeah, for sure. Uh, why is that important to you, especially that you have to close it out? Because if you live and die by people's critique or comments that will affect your energy and you can't give people that power, right? right. So why do you need to buy that up and straighten up and, you know? For me, I, I know I have to do it because I need to overcome a lot of fears. I have a lot of stage fright. Yeah. So I don't like that feeling of going in front of people and it's like shaking on my stomach. Sorry, like, I can't do all of that. So I, I, have, a, I have a lot to, to do, but I've come a long way. And, 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 and yeah, that's okay, you know. The, the the idea of, of feeling nervous and having those things. But the powerful thing is to overcome. Right. So I never run from that. You know, but if I was shy twenty years ago when I do radio or I did my first lecture of, abroad or you know, when I was teaching, every other time I did it, you move past it. So now it doesn't matter where I go. I just, once I know what I'm going to say, it's done. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, man, I just, it does work, that's yeah. training, yeah. that's practice. Yeah. And right now, see, you're doing so well that I, I, I want to end the interview now before you get nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. because, because yeah, you're not nervous, I told you. Just, you know, be yourself. Uh, what do you have to tell the young, uh, young people? Because one of the first things I think you have to build a fan base is with the children. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, when you make your music, can the children listen to all your lyrics? Yes, um, I make sure that I do music that I can listen to in the car. Cause I have a three-year-old and she repeats everything. Mm -hmm. So I have to make sure what we're playing around her is good. Cause I don't like, grandma, mommy said. Yeah, she does that a lot. So, um, are, you, are you also gonna get into the school? Um, what I always say to artists is, you have to create your your, your listenership, your audience, your fans, if you call it that. Okay. And one of the best ways is going into schools. Um, because one thing with children, they love to dance and they love sure. to sing. And uh, there's a new thing the government came out with, the Ministry of, uh, of Ontario Education. They come up with a thing called play-based learning. Okay. So basically, they have your junior kindergarten child probably not even learning to write as much as playing stuff and mm -hmm. learning, learning while they're playing. Mm -hmm. So that's, awesome. that's good. So as an artist, okay. and they are ready, ready to play, you can go into your JKs and start building your fan base from their four, from their five, and from okay. their you know, and all the way to university. You're teaching me something. Well, yeah, because that's where people learn, and if your music is education, mm -hmm. why not start with that? That's right. True. Yeah, so that's a powerful thing. Are you on the social media? 
Yes, I am. Tell the people where you can go and get your music or link up with you. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Strike One Promo, uh, Facebook as Empress Lele, and on IG as no, sorry, on Facebook as Lele Sinclair, and on IG as Empress Lele. All right, so we're going to slow it down and repeat, and we're going to start the thing. Okay. What's the first one you just said? The first? YouTube. And what uh, was your name there? Strike one promo. Strike like? Strike. The word strike? S T R I K E? Yes, and the number one. Not O N E, but the number one. Yes. Strike one. Yes. Like a beautiful oh pitch. Alright, strike one. Yes. And the next one is? Facebook. And which one was your name there? Lele Sinclair. L L E H L E H L E H Yeah. Twice. Yeah. You like it the first time, so you do it twice. So nice, we did it twice. Ah. Yes. <laughs> What's the next part of that? Sinclair. Sin clear. Yeah. So your sin is clear. Yes. Is that what you said? Ah. All right. So sin is clear. I want to you get that name from. What are the What other thing you got? I G and Presley. Empress with a E M P R E S S. Yeah. L E H L E H. All right. You know why? Because there's so many ways to spell name. You're right. We are Catholic people, you know. <laughs> we, we the Africans, we we chop up and, and cook up and create new languages. Right. And so when you say Lele, it could be L A L A. Yeah, true. Or L A Y L A Y. Exactly. Yeah. So we spell it for them so now they can jump online. Are you going to turn up to the dance hall business? Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. like you, man. Just come out and yes, yes. Yeah, you're not going to every dance. No, not every dance. I suppose I dance. No, I work at night, so I can't. So you can't go out and dance. How are you always oh, yeah, so much locks in a dance? A locks that you're always. Yeah. So what? Uh, 14 years. For real? Yeah. So because sometimes I'm going to dance, I'm going to follow the dance, and shadow me going to dance. I see locks in that dance. I hold it for other people. When I look by it, I don't argue with me. Like other people are wearing weave and wigs and everything. So, how do you enter the dance? Oh man, this is just me. This is just you. Yeah, I've always wanted to have locks. I just wasn't allowed to. Oh, at the church house. Yeah. I'm arrested. And yet, the hair is just natural. It's not you. Rest a lot of people who have been here and then the rest of us. That's true. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand it's natural. She didn't want nothing to do with it. And yeah. where, where am I name? Where am I name? Elsie. Elsie. Let me tell you something, Elsie. You see, the Naya thing you are and then a kid that they come from. They come from a thing called a hoo. And then used to hide in a bush to defeat the British. <laughs> they man with locks. But the first man with locks in a garden was the, the priest. And him summon the golden stool from the heavens to drop into the lap of King Osetutu to unite the Ashanti kingdom in the name of comfort and Uche. Yeah, Lux is just a powerful, natural entity. Big up your money. <laughs> yeah. So, anything else you want to say to your people? Eh? Anything you want to say? Time to give the shout out before you go live. You have to go yes. um, do a performance. Okay, I want to big up Live Work Studio where we get everything done. Plenty of course, plenty of music. 13 Production, my video guy, yes. Yes. And just my family. Big up, big up. All right. Big up, big up. Big up. Yo, you're going to find out really good. Yes. Listen, of course, listen, you look nice. Right. Hey, we don't need fun. We don't need to fun. We don't need to fun. We support it. We support it. You mean we support it. What should you do? Know? Support it. Say what we do. You're going to have to do this for us, sir. You have, to, you have to perform, you have to take the microphone, take the microphone. Yeah. You know you have to go right over this to know you, man, and stop talking to you, grab this thing. Because you're going to like, take the mic with you. You see this brand and stuff? Everybody wants to talk in the video. Okay. Yeah, right in the video, you have to sing the music, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, live and interactive, literally, speak up, go on.
It was a bit like a crap, I shake it. It was a bit, it was a bit. 